All right, I got my video in my Ishin VRD2. Let me start recording the DVR footage. And that should be right now. Okay, we are recording. And back to live video. Let's fly, shall we? Jello. Flying in uh, stabilized mode, like a baby, really slow. Just want to get used to it first. Lot of jello. Switching to uh, acro mode. Once again, the jello is kind of ruining my feelings for the flight. Oh, almost missed the tree. Please, don't break the arms. Oh my god! Was I wrong? Or maybe I crashed in the sand, that's why. None of the arms are broken, though I broke my antenna cap. It should be easy fix. Let me just add it back on. You cannot imagine the fear I had that I probably broke a couple of arms. But hey, I see a ding on the propeller. Two propellers have a ding, but the rest is nice. So, they're still flying. Let's have some more fun. That was my mistake. I actually mm, flipped and didn't control the flip properly. I mean, didn't control the uh, throttle properly. Here we go again. In acro mode. Okay, that was a nice flip. Now I know what to do. I don't know camera probably I don't know it's camera or it's my video goggles that I don't feel the picture quality is really good however I'm having nice and slow low altitude flight and I'm kind of having fun now you can still get much more speed if you you know tilt the camera pretty much more angles and it's nice to have cruise by the sand dunes very close to the ground oh, watch out watch out that's what I like cruising close to the ground oh check out the uh, range on the video transmitter really nice I had one little single glitch now I'm gonna go very low to the ground video is still perfectly alive I can hear the quadcopter lost the sense of where I was for a while but of course back you could always hear the quadcopter Man, it's flying nice and smooth. I'm kind of liking it. I mean, the way it's flying, it's really nice and good. Now behind my chimney, behind the tree, I just dodged the tree. The 
video live the live video signal is really solid the video transmitter they used is pretty good man really solid link we have there scaling the dunes it's a lot of fun that was a mistake I made before <laughs> I actually didn't control the throttle. Okay, man, this cruising is something that I really love. Whoa, man, this has some nice power there. I mean, I like it the way it just punches up. It has good power. And now we are out of patch antenna range. My cluer leaf on the goggle is still probably picking it up very very solid so because it has a 600 milliwatt FPV system so the video signal is really nice and solid awesome flight times are really nice man now I'm using a 1350 milliamp battery, 4S of course, and I hear the beeps only when I, ah, almost missed it, <laughs> I hear the beeps only when I punch the throttle, but apart from that, man, it's smooth, it's nice, I don't have much problems here. Check out the range I'm getting on this thing, it's very good to fly close to the sand, float over the sand, low altitude, dodge the tree, dodge another tree, dodge this post which has tried to eat my quadcopter a couple of times. That was close man, <laughs> that was close. Wow, oh, I'm still flying, hey there are birds, I can chase them. Are those falcons? I have no idea what kind of birds were those. Man, punch is really nice. I like it. Okay, so now we are having beeps. I think it's time to land, shall we? Hey, I said land, not crash. All right, let's land it. Stabilize mode. It's so smooth, so nice, that I'm actually kind of having fun flying it around, really. Oh, it went pretty far actually. Now we are losing the battery. Man, that is a lot of flight time on a 4S 1350 milliamp. Okay, battery is completely dying. We are back home. Awesome. Awesome. Where's the camera? Awesome. Let me stop recording the DVR. Yes! The DVR was still recording and I'm really happy that the file is safe. Now man, that's a lot of flight time. I mean, 10 minutes I'm flying it around 
actually cruising it around I'm not flying crazy I was just cruising around in uh, acro mode close to the ground and that's what the beginners want to do or want to be able to do to have a lot of flight time before changing the batteries you know they will go crazy flying later and for that I'm sure they can still tweak this quadcopter for the crazy fast FPV proximity flight after upgrading the firmware and running beta flight or clean flight so F3 flight control in this is flashable to beta flight and you know clean flight you can configure it later as your skills improve so yes to conclude very very simply Ishin 250 Pro with the radio control complete ready to fly ready to FPV right outside the box is a worthy product right here given that if you don't break those arms I mean I crashed pretty bad today and I'm surprised that I didn't break any arms so basically that proves that quadcopter does take some beating and I believe you'll break the arms depending on how bad and what angle you crash at it's a fun to fly quadcopter it's really really fun to cruise very close to the ground the FPV system is really powerful and nice I didn't have any glitches I didn't break any live video feed so overall this is a nice worthy product so if you're looking for a ready to fly right outside the box ready to FPV right outside the box something that is affordable something that will give you fun flights longer flight times well you're looking at it this is Ishin 250 Pro Thank you for watching the video and thank you very much for your continued support towards my work on YouTube. Please subscribe to my channel and stay updated for all the regular video uploads. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share the link over your social sites.